Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. I am of course Steel the Black Shadow and I have made our little trek uh, from the globe back to the Brotherhood of Steel off screen. Um, it actually took a little while, um, spent quite a lot of time actually in the hub doing uh, trading all that sort of thing which took quite a while because we, you know, we do have quite a lot of goodies with us and we have to deal with like weight allowances, various bits and pieces like the buff out ran out and then I was over encumbered and it was all a bit messy and rather unfortunate. However, we are now rather rich. We have the best part of 60,000 caps on us folks. Um, I did sell a ton of stuff we didn't need. Um, organized plenty of inventories. Um, all the energy weapons, I think I've given, I think Tycho's got hold of those now. I've just ditched them with him, um, just to hold on to them. I also went and bought myself uh, this, folks, a uh, super sledge, um, just as a backup melee weapon should I need it. Um, we're not 100% capable of wielding it correctly, but it's still a pretty decent weapon. Um, so we have got that. I've got the motion sensor back. Also, still got our suit of combat armor we found, folks. So if you don't manage to, um, yeah, if you don't manage to have enough caps to uh, buy combat armor at the hub, there is a suit available for you in the depths of the globe, which is good. Anyways, oh yeah, by the way, um, in my intensity of trying to get rid of all the radiation poisoning I had, I have now developed a crave for <laughs> right away. I've never knew you could like get so many cravings, so many bloody things in this game. Anyways, so that is a now a thing. But anyways, um, other than that, everyone is reasonably good. I'll just quickly show you people's um, inventories here. I've given people a load of stim packs here. Um, Ian's still got our explosives, because we don't need to screw around with that too much at the moment and get those on when. And then, yeah, so Tycho's got hold of our energy weaponry, which we still can't really use. We don't have any um, experience or capabilities of using that stuff. But I will be looking to delve into it rather soon. Because eventually, I'm going to want to finish this, alright. Anyway, so let's go and have a chat with Cabot. And tell him that we've got what hey, we need. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? I did. Great. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. Uh, alright. Just come back when... Oh, right, of course. I don't have it on me. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I don't know which one it is. Fuck. Vault location disc. Oh, fuck. That's the one. Yeah, one thing you can do, uh, the problem is is that when you're trading with loads of stuff, um, when you're stealing and giving items away um, with the bartering technique, uh, well, with just stealing, um, you are restricted to weight limitations on both characters, which can be a bit of a problem sometimes. So a way of getting around it, if you just do a load of bartering, you can switch inventories between the two, and it will ignore any weight encumbrances. you just got to make sure that the total value of what you offer to um, your partner is more than what the value of the stuff they're giving back to you. So that's a thing you got to bear in mind. Um, uh, like, I, I need to check this. Just have a stim pack. There you go. Good stuff. We got it. Hey, you're back. Great. But this is great. Hang on while I open the door. Thank you, Cabot. All right. 2,000 experience points becoming an initiate to the Brotherhood of Steel. Nice. Well, hello. What can I help you with? Uh, have you got anything new I can ask Go you? Go ahead. Um, I don't any good rumors lately. Well, some of the initiates think we're preparing for war. Oh. That's why hardly anyone gets in now. I was surprised when the High Elder told me to let you in. Because? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the High Elder arguing with the other Elders. Mm. Go ahead. Maybe there well, appears to be some... Some um, think we're preparing for goodbye. Appears to be maybe there's a bit of internal strife at the Brotherhood of Steel, folks. We'll have to see. Anyways, let us head down into the Brotherhood of Steel. By the way, I absolutely love the Steel music in this game really really good so yeah welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel these guys are um these guys are heavily fucking armed as you can see there are guys fucking everywhere good stuff the monitor is made for Brotherhood technology I can't do anything about it oh well whatever yes there are guards the paladin hey there um Oh, 
Can you tell me where I might find our High Elder? Uh, Maxon High Elder can be found on the fourth floor. If you take the other elevator down to level four, he should be near the council room or the elders' room. Sounds good. Cheers. Why don't I get some better weapons? Talk to Talus. He might be able to help you or at least tell you who to talk to. Uh, during the day, Talus is normally supervising the training hall. Um, unfortunately not. Training hall is right around the corridor. Just go down the corridor, make a left, go through the door at the end of the hall door, and it'll be through the door on your right. Hmm, thank you very much. Um, do you think I could actually get some, uh, equ do you think I'd actually get some equipment? Or training? Uh, you are a member of the Brotherhood, but the Elders have put a hold on all training of new initiatives. Huh. The rumour is about some kind of army. I think the Elders want to concentrate the resources on the ones that are already far long enough in their training um, to make a difference if we do have a big battle on our hands. We sure believe that training in a few fighters ex um, extremely well is better than giving mediocre training to a bunch of fighters. You can probably get quite a bit out of the training just by watching. Brother Thomas is the best training we have ever had at the Brotherhood. Thank you very much. In fact, that is exactly what we're going to go and do. There's a little clue there of something you want to do here. Also got uh, Michael here, as well as more guards. Hello! Hello! Uh, what do you do for our Brotherhood? I mean, quite as glamorous as our paladins, I just run the supply room. Uh, I'd, I'd like to check out something. How do I do that? You now have the proper authorization. Any specific people can give authorization to check out items from the supply room. Um, you already need to talk to. There are quite a few people, actually, but Tannis is the person you should probably talk to. Might also want to check with uh, Mafia. Um, Mafia? I don't know. She might be able to help you out, too. And she is Maxon's assistant. Technically the High Elder's assistance, but she works with all the other Elders. Normally in the Elders' room, it's located on the fourth floor. Lovely, thank you. There is a lot to do here in the Brotherhood, folks. You better believe it. And here is Talus, everyone. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Um, so Talus here. Yeah, we are directed by Council of Elders, Maxon, the person in charge. He is a senior paladin of Rhombus. Oh, Rhombus. We're in charge of the Paladins and Knights. Right now I'm supervising training exercises. We're getting ready for anything. <laughs> uh, how can I get some weapons and equipment? As an initiate, you're entitled to a few things. I'll put in a clearance for combat armor and three orders of ammunition, bullets of your choice. Just see Michael in the next room for supplies. Nice. Uh, what about high-tech weapons? You may have proven yourself to be an initiate, but that doesn't mean you can start handing over weapons to someone that might not be qualified, especially an outsider. Um, ah! Apparently I've built quite a reputation. The people I've checked with hold you in high regard. I don't think you need any help. You seem quite capable. However, if you help me with a little problem, I might be able to reward you with something. Yeah? What exactly do you need? I sent one of our initiates out to the hub for a short while back, and we haven't heard anything from him. If you can find out what happened to him, he'd be very grateful. Yeah, sure, no problem. I remember this, and when I've seen that you've gained enough experience, I might be able to give you something special from our order. Thank you very much, Talus. Alright, so what we're going to do beforehand uh, is we are going to um, uh, just quickly spend a quick bit of time here. Okay, children, today we'll be going over some martial arts. Close combat, the technique used depends on your opponent's size, reach, and quickness. Given the opportunity, test your opponent. Yeah, so this is Thomas here. He is um, the hand to hand trainer here, I guess. Alright, my little one, try to hurt poor old Gramps. <laughs> yeah, so what that is a hinted from over there, folks. You can come in here. And you can come in and just simply stand here and watch and get a bit of uh, extra training. You don't necessarily need to do this, but it's um, handy nonetheless. Why is it extending so bad? <laughs> they can be taken out of context. Shouldn't you go for it? 
That's a lot to risk your life over. There you go. We've earned ourselves a quick um, skill point in unarmed combat and melee weapons. Just for coming in here and standing. Isn't that nice, folks? I think that's about all we can... Uh, I think it's about all we can get. Yeah, so you see here, as we're gaining here, we are gaining skill in unarmed combat and melee weapons. Getting another point there. Getting some more points. Just by standing here and watching. So yeah, so that can be pretty damn useful, folks, if you are, um, especially if you're dealing with a lot of melee weapons, just a little bit of bonus experience there. Pretty damn nice. Lovely stuff. Don't think we need anything else particularly here. Are you sure you want to be a scribe in this shit? Those talents would be a shame to waste. <laughs> we'll just keep you in reserve, okay? here on learning plenty. <laughs> Out of curiosity, can I open these lockers? Is there actually anything in here? I don't know. I legitimately don't know. Also, by the way, folks, while you're in the Brotherhood, might be a good idea not to piss them all off. I mean, like, these guys are wielding, like, freaking miniguns and everything. Yes, he did not overextend himself, folks. That's all for now, so let's review. Good stuff. Lovely stuff there. Thank you very much, Thomas. So giving us some uh, bonus points to um, experience there. Very nice. You suck. All right, I think we're done here, folks. Let's move on. So we can have a chat with uh, Michael. Now, uh, I have something to pick up. Yes, you have authorized to check something out. A good defense is the best offense. Or was it the other way around? Well, it doesn't matter. Here's your armor. Be sure to take care of it. I can't give out more than one set. Uh, I have something else to pick up. Yes, I have authorization to get some ammunition. Um, so remember, we are allowed a variety of different types that we want. Um, we get free picks. Um, so what do we want here? Um, give us some 5mm armor piercing. Um, give me some more 5mm armor piercing. And what is it that Ian's using? 14mm? Give me some 14mm armor piercing, please. I think that's everything we've got. Lovely. There you go, folks. So a bit of a free armor there. And. Oh yeah, Brotherhood Armor. Superior version of combat armor, the Brotherhood of Steel have made many improvements. It weighs 25 pounds to the uh, brother, to the normal 20 by the way. However, as far as uh, this stuff's concerned, yeah, you can see nice bonuses to uh, fire and plasma especially, um, and normal. Pretty nice piece of armor, folks. Pretty damn nice. There we go, a bit of a bonus art ammo there, which we're going to go ahead and give to Ian. If you never stay still. There you are, sir. Congratulations. Alright, we have, we have some better armor, folks, just for doing that little odd job there. Right, what else do we want to do? Is there any people we can have a chat in here? This is just an orchard to supply room here, not much we can do in here. I am going to go and save the game because we are going to have ourselves a little introduction to Rhombus, who is uh, right here, folks. Rhombus is basically the head of all the knights and guards and all sorts of shit. He does not fuck around. May I help you? Rhombus is awesome. Not just because of the fact he is a co he's voiced by the uh, the one and only Clancy Brown. And if that name sounds familiar, it should bloody well do. Um, I mean, he's, he I've took part in one of my favourite films of all time, um, Short Act Redemption. He was um, uh, Hadley the Guard and all that sort of stuff. He has done an absolute shit ton of um, shit ton of things. Rhombus is awesome. Um, can I ask you a few questions? Doesn't even say anything. 
Tell me about yourself. I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. So fucking awesome. Um... Okay, what do the Paladins do? The scribes copy the plans for the weapons and the knights make them. The Paladins protect the Brotherhood from harm. That's actually pretty much the most concise way I can explain how the different avenues of the Brotherhood work. Uh, what kind of harm can there be? Many covet our technology. We have at least four attacks a week, from raiders to just people who want to steal what we have. Well, they are badly mistaken. Uh, what's I said. About? <laughs> He's not happy about I that. I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I Can train you teach those me some of your stuff? stuff? I could teach you how to fight, if you had any ability. But the High Elder decreed no training of new recruits until the threat of invasion passes. Huh. What threat? It is not my place to answer. See the High Elder if you wish. Come on, please! No. <laughs> He's so great. Uh, can you give me some history behind the Brotherhood? Dr. Vree in the main library. Yeah. All right. What about the surrounding area? The hub and the boneyard are south, mountains are east, and desolate wasteland north. Whoever goes there never returns. Mm, we did okay. I do not put stock in rumors. Come on, just one. No. <laughs> Yeah, Rommers is pretty awesome. Uh, thank you very much. But you don't want to necessarily start, um, annoying this man. May I help you? You don't look like much of a fighter. Insolent pup! Apologize now and you'll not be hurt. Alright, I'm sorry. I, I was just trying to be funny. What do you want? Notice how he is decidedly, um, not impressed. Um... I said, I am <laughs> Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. That's all? Yes, that is all there needs to be. Sounds really depressing. Insolent pup! <laughs> Apologize now and you'll not be <sighs> hurt. Whatever. You are a disgrace to the Brotherhood. I will teach you manners. Oops. Rommus is like, fuck you. I almost feel sorry for you. And he will whip out his minigun. I didn't actually mean to do that. Yeah, 95, you got a minigun. You know what, Rombus? You gonna talk shit to me like that? Fuck you. I can't but oh of course I can't burst fire move too far. Damn it! Get him! I missed! Shit! Oh boy. We had to have this fun at least once in our lives, right? Let's see what happens when we decide to go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel. And yes, folks, there's a lot of dudes. Go, Tyke! Oh dear. Insolent cur! Feel my wrath! Ian's like, your wrath? I'm gonna knife you to death, son. He pulls out his fucking knife. You, you idiot. Oh my god. He just murdered my dog! He just fucking annihilated my dog, bro. 200 points of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Tycho's dead. Ian just got annihilated. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. The maybe the scars are nice for party nice. talk. I just got brutalized. Oh god. So yeah, the um Yeah, the Brotherhood. Don't fuck with them, folks. Can I come back here? Oh. Stay out of my quarters. Right. Explain yourself, initiate. Uh, oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was your room. I thought it was like a bathroom or something. Then leave, and I will forget this little incident. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Damn. Can 
Can't they speak there? They won't know this to me. I'm actually curious. Do 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 do. Exceeded my weight capacity. Oh, of course, we've got like su two suits of body armor on me. That's why. That would explain plenty of what is currently going on. Yeah, I got two suits of body armor. That is, that shit is quite heavy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that shit is quite heavy. I'm actually curious to see if I can get this to work. I know my sneak skill is a part of trash. Um, I forget exactly how the plastic explosives work. If it works the same way as, um... Oh, it does include a tower. Good. Right, so if we set a time for one minute... Get out of there! Oh, you can't open the door. Oh, shit. Run, dog meat! That shit explodes pretty bad. Oh. Yeah! Oh, shit, he's not dead! Oh, fuck! What? You don't know it was me! That's a lie! Fucking rhombus! <laughs> Shit, um, run, I'm innocent, I've been unfairly judged, don't listen to him paladin guards, Rhombus is mistaken, it's all a grand conspiracy, listen to your high elders, oh shit, <laughs> they are remarkably unimpressed, <laughs> I didn't know if that was going to work or not. Help! Help me, Tycho! Dog meat's like, I'm gonna get this fool. It's gonna end badly. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> the darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. I just got ripped in fucking half! Found in this one. <laughs> we both just got ripped in half. That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. Oh my god. Okay, okay, Rombus, you win. <laughs> I surrender. Oh man, I, I didn't actually know that could happen. I just got ripped into two pieces. That was great. That was so great. Oh dear. Alright then, go down to floor 2, uh, which is the, we're going to go straight to floor 4 before we do anything and have a chat with the High Elders, uh, but yeah, we've got floor 2 here, which is kind of like a uh, place of learning, also plenty of living quarters as well, and stuff like that, actually, you know what, we are going to explore floor by floor, why the fuck not, so we've got a um, load of scribes and knights here, Got an instructor for the Brotherhood. Let's have a chat with you. Hello. Oh, fine. They won't talk to us. So yeah, we've got uh, night initiates. Oops. We've got uh, yeah, another night initiate there. I think that's a. Uh, I think that's a lady actually. Can I open the door? Door is locked. 
don't think we're allowed to get into any of these um, normally. Yeah, they're all locked out, aren't they? So we got Jerry, a young initiate there. Can I actually have a chat with him? Because like, uh, he's actually available. Hello. You must be Brother Shadow, an initiate from the outside. My name's Jerry. He's my new roommate. All right. Are you an initiate, a knight or a scribe? Um, I haven't decided yet. Still trying to decide. So tough. They're both really exciting. By the way, if you want the top bunk, just let me know. I don't mind. Um, I think I'm okay. But thank you. Yeah, so this is actually our room here in the Brotherhood of Steel, folks. Um, and I'm pretty sure we can actually look and actually use this as like a storage area if we want. To store some stuff away if we so desire. I'm pretty sure we can we can basically do that if we want. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oh shit, yeah, my carry capacity is at max. God damn it. Yeah, there's a bit of ammo there. Uh, how much ammo have I actually got? I've got enough ammo. I'm not worried about that. But yeah, so we can actually use that as a storage area. That is our room. That's our room here. Isn't that nice? This area is very interesting, however. This we do want to explore. We've got the doctor and his assistant. Um, I think I'm radiated. Radiation is very dangerous. You should be more careful. Lovely. Thank you very much. So uh, we, have, uh, we have got rid of all radiation that we've dealt with. That is nice. Do you do operations? But of course, it's very costly and time consuming. I can help make you stronger, more perceptive, increase your endurance, help improve your learning process, and increase your dexterity. Which would you like more information on? I can do only each operation once. So this is a very awesome place here, folks. Um, there is an operating table with the doctor and the assistant. They can perform a variety of operations for you, which will increase some of your core statistics. So, for example, the strength one. So, uh, it will take a uh, long recovery time. 2,000 scripts, but it will take three weeks to heal. Uh, not particularly. So, yeah, so we can use this to um, increase our um, five of our abilities. Um, strength, perception, um, endurance, intelligence, and agility. And we can have them all increased by one. It will cost us X amount of money, but it will take a lot of time for us to actually physically do it. I don't want to... I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Ooh, can I actually take those? Damn. Damn, this bloody armor. So, perception. 4,000 scripts, but only takes a, um, a week. Endurance. A uh, week for 3,000 caps. Intelligence. Three weeks and 6,000 caps. And agility... Uh, which is three weeks and 5,000 caps. So that is about 20,000 caps total, but you're looking to do all the reparations about two months. So that's a thing. We will be delving into these, especially some strength would be fucking nice. Right. Um, come over here, guys. i got to ditch this de these damn body armors for the moment. They're taking so much bloody um, inventory space. But yeah, so uh, that is a thing we can certainly do, and it's a thing I certainly would encourage you to do. Give me those. I would like the super stim packs, please. Thank you. Seeing as they don't seem to mind, and they're only in trading. So that is a thing we will be doing, but not immediately. Alrighty then. Next up to floor three. If I can ever operate elevators correctly. Don't think there's anything else here. But yeah, that is um, very, very damn useful, folks. Here's floor three. Um, so we've got uh, we've got a workshop down here. We've got very little more um, more housing, and we've got the main information centre here in the uh, in this place, folks. Let's go over to the workshop, shall we? 
and then we'll come back and scoot by here. And then we'll do the High Elder last. Night, Paul! And, uh, another knight. Hello! You're the new initiate! Welcome aboard. What can I do for you? Who are you? What do you do? Head of the Energy Weapons Development. Laser, plasma, you name it, I've built it. Or at least rebuilt it. And I get one. You would have to see Michael to be issued a weapon. He can't authorise you for one, though. For that, you would have to see Talus. Both on the first floor. Alright then. Anything else I can ask? Nope, nothing else to ask you. So, if we can get ourselves um, authorisation for some energy weapons, we can get that here. And, uh... It's just, no one has ever made it back from the Ancient Order. Then why did they send me down there? Yeah. That's the whole reason they sent us to the Ancient Order. They didn't want us involved in the damn Brotherhood. But we won! So they had no choice. <laughs> oh dear. What do you do here? I fix stuff, run maintenance checks, that sort of crap. What kind of stuff? This guy deals with power armor. Oh yes. I'll give you this power armor right here, but it's missing a systolic motivator. It's useless without one. Where can we get one of those? They've got more than enough up in the supply room, but my gun is damn fool to say this particular suit isn't up to specs. Damn bureaucrats. You see, this eyepiece right here, I had to resolder it in place, and it doesn't look as pretty as it needs to for inspection, I guess. So, if I brought you a systolic motivator, would you fix it for me? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute there. That would take a good couple hours. I'd loan you a manual my tools, but you'd have to repair it yourself. Well, if Michael wasn't going to give us one, where else could we find one, perhaps? Well, Rhombus has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the honoured are supposed to wear these here power suits. Besides, I think he has an unnatural attachment to them. So we can get ourselves a nice nifty set of power armor, folks. Unfortunately, it needs a piece of equipment, which we're either going to get from Michael in all of his bureaucratic forms, or Rhombus. He actually has some in that room down the back we were trying to get access to, and he kicked us out from. Yeah. Power armor. That would be fucking nice. So, uh, that's a thing we could look to do. Alright then. Let's uh, head into yonder here, folks. This is the scribe's uh, main area. We've got Sophia there. Who, and there is Vree. Remember we heard about Vree. He was, uh, uh Maxon's right-hand man. Or woman. Right-hand man? I better not tell that to her. She would be very upset. Let me chat to Sophia first. Hello! Um, can you direct me to the library? This is the library! This is where they keep records on all technical data on weaponry and brotherhood, and of course, the history of the brotherhood. Um, I'd like to know more about the weapons you make here. You must speak with Marie about that. I have more important things to do. Yes. Um, what does he do with Bree's assistant? Very special is the Brotherhood's history. Um, what can you tell me about the Brotherhood's history? Well, it's good to see someone interested here. Here you go. This is a desk disc of some of our earliest writings. Thank you. So, uh, Sophia will actually give us a uh, nice little disc here, uh, which we are, of course, going to use. If not, just for the 100 experience points. Here we are. Oops. So uh, here is a, a tape about um, the form about various bits and pieces. That is not the one I was looking for. Um, Sophia's tape, that's the one. The exodus from the accursed base was a trying time for the men and their families. While there was no ready active fallout to contend with, they were frequently beset by the fallout of humanity. Roving bands of psychotic marauders attempted several attacks on that noble group. The company itself was in no danger, for they wore the armour of power. Members of their families were not so lucky. Once the vermin found out they were easily repelled, they began to fire on the unarmed civilians from a distance. Yeah, so, uh, that's bad. 
great many casualties. Um, finally, the forefathers came to the safety of the bunker. Captain Maxon, the great deliverer, decreed this to be our new home, and all was well. So yes, this is an old military bunker, basically, and uh, shit happened. I don't know where exactly they came from. Maybe they came from, like, maybe the military base, or maybe the, the glow. I don't know. No. In the fullness of time, the bunker became our home. Our temple and our salvation were terrible to the outside world. You can take shape of the fortress, yada yada. Yet there were those who sought still more. These restless souls demanded that we look to the southeast for the advanced technology that was supposedly housed there. The glow. Okay, so they didn't come from there. Captain Max had warned these impetuous youths that the research facility was doubtlessly destroyed and we were spared, and they would not hear his words. They took their sanctified armor and headed off to find their holy grail, but not before they spoke to the deliverer's name in vain, questioning his very bravery. These men were never heard from again. I can only assume that was um, this guy here. Sergeant Allen must have been them. Lovely. Um... What did I just do? Oh! I didn't read that. I thought I just like paid 2,000. I saw the 2,000 and I was like, did I just pay 2,000 caps for something? I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Alright, let's have a chat with Roy. Greetings. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? Hello! Um, I know you're the master scribe. What does that mean? I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. You mean you know stuff? Yes, I guess you could say I know stuff. What can I help you with? Um... Hmm. Holodisks, eh? Use your Pip-Boy 2000 to read the discs. Insert the disc into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. Do I actually need a skill check when I'm using that sort of stuff? Maybe I do. I actually didn't know that. Maybe I need like a really like basic science skill. The Brotherhood has some automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. Oh. Um. Thanks. What can I help you with? Um, radiation poisoning. You would need some anti-radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. Oh, thanks. She is free. Oh, aren't you helpful? I think she just gave us, like, yeah, she just gave us a bit of Radex there. Cheers. Thank you very much. Uh, Vri? Holy shit. Use this terminal to learn the basics of computer operations. Ah. Thank you. The lesson finishes in six hours. You feel exhausted. All right. That's actually pretty handy. We just get ourselves some ability there. Yeah, so our science is going on. By the way, um, some of our abilities are getting capped with like books and stuff. Like um, the repair skill, I can't actually learn any more from books and stuff. I think 90% is about as high as I can get any of my skills and books. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Bray. What can I help you with? I don't know what you just said there. Um, what will we learn more about the weapons? Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Okay, cheers. Well, Bray, that was actually surprisingly helpful. Thank you very much. He's not too bad. Although you've got to make sure you don't come here. With, I think like if you come here with like either like a really bad reputation or like other things that haven't gone too well in your past, she won't be so helpful. All right, so here we are, floor four. This is what we were looking for. This is the uh, this is the heart of the matter, folks. It's brotherhood guards. Promises his item. And here he is, folks. General Maxon. And, uh, oh, Mafia here as well. Head of the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, hello, youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm, uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll, uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Kinda like me, huh? 
no comment. Um, maybe you can tell me. Everybody here seems to be on edge. It's like you're getting ready to go to war, but no one knows with who. Well, the merchants from the hub told us a bunch of caravans disappeared on their way up north. I think there's an army in the mountains. But the elders, well, they don't want to act until they're sure. Uh. Now, of course, we've already done this quest, and we've done all sorts of bits and pieces, folks. Of course, we have proof, and we already know... That mutants are the cause for the caravan misappearings. You have good reason to be worried. They look very formidable. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside. Like you. Right. I could try and get some caps out of them. I don't need to. I've got enough fucking money. I'll go scout up the area to the north. And report what I find. Good. Anything else you need to ask? Um, would it be possible if we could hold us some better weapons? As I'm going to help you guys out. Well, I suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Mathia. Okay, then. We will do that. Hold on, General. Ah. Okay. Uh, Max has cleared a weapon upgrade for you. What would you like? Sniper rifle, rocket launcher, laser pistol, power fist, or a ripper? Ripper, I believe, is also a melee weapon. We've got enough sniper rifles. I've got a laser pistol. Hmm. A power fist actually might be a good idea. I don't know if he can use it, though. I thought I was going to get a moment to actually decide this before just launching straight into this. I get a rocket launcher. I could just buy a fucking rocket launcher. Give me a... Uh... Give me a power fist. Thank you very much. Here we are, folks. So this is a cool little item. Power Fist. A big frigger. Power Fist from Biko. Considered by many to be the ultimate weapon to use in unarmed combat. Others are just sake scared. <laughs> Others are just scared. Um, this is pretty awesome because not only is it a melee weapon, it's powered by energy cells. So it actually uses energy energy ammunition to power the fist. Which is pretty damn awesome. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, folks. And I may well be using this. I was tempted to get hold of the Ripper, but I think I'll go with that. And you are? Uh, my fishing max and assistant, but I'm also gonna make sure no one messes with the old man. He's a good guy. Besides, I wouldn't badmouth him while he's standing next to me. He takes care of all the paperwork. He could not do paperwork to save his life. What the hell do you want now? Thanks. Shoot. Can you tell me about the brother's history? Look, I don't have time for a story that long right now. Here, all of us grew up on this. Ooh, sure. he just gave us something. Thank you. What's the Brotherhood's main purpose? Our main goal is to survive. The scribes copy old plans for weapons or design new ones, and the knights make guns from them. Most guns come from us. Uh. Shoot. The elders? Well, you see, there's four of them. And that's about all they can ever agree on. They can't even agree if they want to piss. Much less pick a pot to piss in. <laughs> You can tell General Maxon has seen some shit in his days. You can just tell. He's got that whole, like, old military vibe out of him. He's great. The Death Claw. No, oh, just another stupid rumor. Some people say it's a huge fanged monster, and others say it's a vampire. Don't know about rumor, but... Sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, actually, let me just see if we can do this, some stuff via this. Roger Maxon, huh? Well, 
Well, he led our people here in the great exodus. Started the brotherhood from scratch. Quite a leader. Oh, maybe he's his father. Oh, uh, that would make sense. Um, Freeze the head scribe. She's usually in the library. She always likes to talk. <laughs> Mathia is my assistant. Um, what about Rhombus? Rhombo's been here a long time. A bit stiff, but a hell of a soldier. <laughs> Brotherhood. That's where you are. You want the long version? Go talk to Vree. Glow? What was that? No, I don't believe I've ever heard of it. Power armor. I don't, um, let me just go. Hell if I know. I don't know how. He, how do you spell armor? Oh, 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 yeah. There's no, no U in this because <sighs> reasons. Oh, I don't know anything yeah. about that. Elders. Well, you see, there's four of them. Oh, and right. And that's okay. about all they can uh, ever agree on. Anything else? They can't even agree if they want to piss. Much less pick a pot to piss in. The hub's down to the southeast. They trade us food and things for the weapons we make here. Now, if you're ever down there, you talk to Butch Harris. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, so there's nothing stopping you, certainly, from coming to the Brotherhood way before, um, like, pretty early on the game, if you want. The problem is, is that you'd have to then go to the Glow and survive all that hell, which can be a bit of a problem. But you can certainly come here a lot earlier if you want. Um, anything else? Uh... Cabots? Uh, he's a good kid. Even if he does want to be a scribe. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, thank you very much for that, I sir. I have work to do. Thank you, General. So here's the elders here, folks. Um, they're all here. We... I don't think we can do anything particularly with them. There's also a mainframe computer. I do not know if we can use it. I don't even know if we can get into it. Then, thank you very much for that, uh, General. So, yeah, I don't know if I can get in here. I don't even know if I can do anything. Let's find out! I don't think there's any way for me to interact the mainframe itself, is there? No, I don't think there's anything I can actually do with this. But it is here, and it's a thing. Ah, then, cool. Right, so, is there anything else I want to particularly do here? Um, I think at this moment in time, that's probably where I'm going to end the video. Um, we've got ourselves a set of things we can look to- oh, these bloody doors. We've got ourselves a set of, um, things we can look to do, certainly from here. Let's just get to the elevator here for a moment. And we'll review our notes. Um, before we... Brotherhood. So, we've got an initiate that some that went to the hub, which, um, one of the guys up top wants us to look for. And he will uh, reward us with some goodies. Uh, we've got a static motivator we need to get hold of so we can get some power armor, which is pretty damn sweet. And then we've got the whole mutant thing. Now, clearly, with all of the firepower that these guys possess, if we could get the Brotherhood of Steel on our side, to help us in our fight against the mutants. Holy shit. We would be in for a jolly good time. But we're going to have to convince them to do it first. And that could be tricky. Uh, tell you what. Also, yeah, that's a good point. Let me unequip that. One thing we are going to do before we leave here, folks. I'm going to do just the one for now. If I can ever get in the... Life. Uh, floor two, I believe it was. We are gonna go and have an operation. Just the one for now. Alright. So.
I would like the strength operation because I'm absolutely sick of having four strength. Long recovery time of three weeks. We'll do it. Here goes nothing. Just kidding. We can start right away. She gasses you and you slowly slip away. So, how are you feeling? You can already tell the difference. You're quite a talkative person in your sleep. You're free to go. Good day. So a bit of time has passed. However, we now have a strength stat of five. Isn't that nice? Um, I would have thought someone tells you what it actually did. Our right, our right away thing has disappeared, by the way, as well, which is which I knew it would do. I also wanted to get rid of that. But yeah, so we now have a strength stat of five, folks. That is improved by one. So we've got a um, a little bit more HP. We've got extra carry weight. Lots of goodies there. And it means that a lot of the weapons we've been using, like our bloody assault rifle, we can now actually handle correctly. Because I have been sick of not being able to use this correctly. Ugh. Nice. Oh, shit, yes. Uh, one thing we need to do before we finish the video is uh, Maxon gave us a disc, didn't he? This will be the last thing we do before we end the uh, video, folks. By my orders, as acting commanding officer following the untimely death of Colonel Robert Spindle during the time of crisis, the full base security team has been deployed to the security bunker at Lost Heel. This directive also includes the families and officers of enlisted men. Unless otherwise directed from a proper representative of the War Department, this order will stand as written. Operative 1. All military personnel and their families are to vacate the base by 8800 25 October 2077. All personnel travelling under command will make their way to Lost Hill Base. No leave has been granted. All civilian personnel are directed to remain at base pending order of leave command structure. Recruiting deemed necessary to decide what military or base military personnel is to be immediately drawn from stores. All codes of military justice will be harshly enforced. Will be harshly enforced. A uh, military personnel and civilian personnel um, on joint military operations. It's also such time as consistent and authorized communication can be established with the war at the current department in order to have precedent over any previously established orders. Captain Maxon. Nice, thank you. Right then, uh, so we are pretty much done uh, for the video. So, yes, yeah, so what we're doing next time is I suppose we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring, folks. If we can convince Maxon, well, not necessarily, not necessarily Maxon, but if we can help Maxon to convince the elders of the threat that the mutants pose, we might be able to get their help with us into uh, sorting out um, some sort of resistance against the evil empire. Uh, we're also going to be delving into trying to get hold of the uh, power armor sorted out, which would be pretty awesome. Um, and we've also got to go visit the hub, we've got the boneyard we've got to go to as well. There's plenty of stuff for us to get on with doing, for sure. But that'll have to be next time. So, uh, yeah, thank you much for watching, and, uh, holla frickin' luya. I'll see you then.